Hello guys, how are we doing? It's very early this morning. I'm suddenly feeling like I need to get back into bed right now. I'd film a little spend the day with me today. This is like, I think this is my first vlog since I've got back from Mykonos. Um, and I've got quite a busy day today. So I'm going horse riding this morning. I've got my first pole dancing session back. So I thought that would be fun to vlog with Tony. Um, and then me and Millie are going to Zouk this afternoon and maybe going for drinks afterwards. So it's a very busy day today of like fun things that I thought I could vlog for you guys. So yeah, I've just got up. Um, it's currently half nine and I literally feel like I'm half asleep to be honest So I'm not really sure how any of this is gonna go today because I am still So tired from holiday and I know for a fact I've not been eating properly. I'm very run down and I'm a bit of a hot mess. So Great, I thought we'd start with a little bit of morning skincare because I've been trying to do a little bit more of a skincare routine at the minute in the morning Can we just take a minute for my skin like it is so clear and I just feel proud <laughs> of myself and my skin for actually like making an effort at the minute. So I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing in the mornings. It's kind of like my glowy skin morning routine. I'm all about like just hydration, glowy, luminous skin right now. So I've already cleansed my skin. I just quickly cleansed it when I brushed my teeth. So the first product I'm gonna go in with is the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum, which just looks like so. This video is actually partially sponsored by Ulla Henriksen, which I am super excited about. You guys know I love their products so much, like I would be using them either way. This is actually the newest launch from Ulla Henriksen, and this is a serum that kind of just aims to tackle any dullness, any fine lines, any wrinkles, um, helps to give you brighter and bouncier skin within seven days of use, which is amazing. So you do see results using it. Also contains hyaluronic acid, which I just feel like hyaluronic acid is one of my favorite things to use on my skin. It really helps to add hydration and also plump the skin as well. Yeah, as I said, this is a vitamin C serum, which is one of the reasons I really love Ulla Henriksen as a brand because they were basically one of the first to start actually using vitamin C in their products, which vitamin C is just essential for like glowy, healthy skin. So, boys and girls, let me get this absolute mop of a hair, of a hair? <laughs> Mop of hair out my face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a couple of pumps. That is what it looks like when you pump it out. Um, it actually has banana powder inspired pigments in this as well, which is amazing. It basically just helps to reflect light and minimize any imperfections, which is what we always want. Thank you, get rid of any imperfections on my face. So I'm just going to, obviously I've got clean hands as well, very important, make sure you wash your hands before you touch your face. I'm just going to basically massage this in an upwards motion. I always try and do upwards motions when doing skincare because um, it just kind of helps to like keep your face nice and lifted and looking young like we don't want any premature wrinkles over here thank you so much yeah it's quite a lightweight serum it feels really really moisturizing but not too like heavy on the skin which i love i used this in another spend the day with me not so long ago as well this serum um and i just feel like it's honestly made such a difference to my skin like as i said my skin has been so clear recently and i feel like these products especially have just really really helped so if anyone's having any breakouts any like dryness would definitely recommend try it in they smell so good as well like they smell really really fresh and like orangey which especially in the morning when i'm doing like my morning skincare i absolutely love in terms of the ingredients as well so it has 15 percent vitamin c five percent phas and as i said hyaluronic acid so all of those ingredients just help to brighten they also help to exfoliate dead skin cells really gently as well um just to get rid of any dark spots any dullness anything like that on your skin and as i said before after just seven days of using this your skin will appear brighter and bouncier which i definitely feel like that I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell looking at my skin, but I just feel like my skin looks really plump, really healthy, um, just has like a nice natural glow to it. But yeah, I just really, really love this. So this is what I am using at first. It's going to be like a three-step skincare routine, I guess. I've got two more products, but I guess it's four steps with the cleanser too, which the cleanser is also from Ulla Henriksen. It's the Daily Juice 
cleanser I want to say it comes in like an orange bottle I've been using it for like three months and I'm absolutely obsessed with it again smells delicious like the serum and the moisturizer and eye cream but yeah this is such a great product it is suitable for all skin types as well so any dullness dryness dark spots like no matter what skin type you are you can use this so i will leave all of the information for this down below along with the other products that i've used as well okay next up we're going to be using my ulla Henriksen sea rush brightening gel cream you guys know how much i love this stuff i mean you can kind of tell anyway like looking in the actual tub because it does get well used this is my second part of this as well so this gets really really well used by me <laughs> i wish you could like feel my skin like it actually does feel bouncier <laughs> if that makes sense like it just feels really plump and just healthy but yeah this moisturizer i really like as well this is the moisturizer that i tend to use under makeup quite a lot because it's super moisturizing i have quite dry skin um it's super moisturizing but <laughs> excuse me excuse me super moisturizing but it's quite lightweight as well so it's not gonna like disrupt your makeup um or like say if you want to put a fake tan on your face which i actually did that last night because my face definitely wasn't much my body even though this is still a mykonos tan like can we appreciate that guys i've got no fake tan on my body at the minute and then last but not least probably one of my favorite products ever to be honest in terms of skincare this is the ula henriksen banana bright eye cream which just looks like so just got a new one of these because i again ran out of this and the fact that i ran out of an eye cream i don't think i've ever run out of an eye cream before because you get so much product with them but i just absolutely love this like it works so well into the eyes um again helps to brighten so it helps to kind of like diminish the appearance of dark circles if that makes sense and then yeah that is pretty much my morning skincare i'm just going to put a bit of lip balm on as well and i'll be done so it's 10 to 9 my riding lesson is at 10 i don't know if i'm going to be able to vlog it actually because i don't think anyone's coming with me so i'm by myself today but yeah i'm going for my riding lesson at 10 and then i've got my pole sessions lesson at half 12 am i okay like am i actually okay because i'm gonna die after both of these i can tell right i'm gonna make some quick breakfast do you know what guys sorry i'm in a stretch now and <laughs> i can't get out of the stretch what was i saying oh yeah i'm going to make some breakfast i've not really been eating properly at the minute i've really had a quite a bad diet and quite bad eating habits fun fact in case anyone cares which you probably don't anyway Let's go and eat some food. I've made a bit of a questionable smoothie. So I've done spinach, pineapple, and juice, <laughs> which is a bit like, are you okay? And then I've also made an iced green tea. I really just fancied like something cold, you know what I mean? Like something cold, refreshing. Just like wake me up um so yeah i'm gonna drink this and then get ready i don't know if i'm gonna be able to vlog today's lesson but i do have another lesson tomorrow so if i can't vlog today's i will insert i'll film tomorrow's lesson for you instead because i think my mum will be able to come tomorrow um so i can insert that here well next but either way i'll put my lesson in for this week um and then yeah as i said coming back getting a shower and getting ready for pole so i'm gonna drink these and get chained hello hello oh hello. guys my body is sore today what's she like angel oh bit of a mystery. Mm. Okay. have you not ridden her before then right guys hello it is me whilst editing <laughs> um i thought i would do a voiceover for both my like riding lesson and then i'm going to do another one for my session at pole sessions just because i feel like it's kind of hard to understand what i'm doing in these lessons so just in case anyone actually cares anyone actually wants to know what's going on or what like we're working on um thought i would do a little voiceover for you guys so 
yeah, I go to Riders. Um, as you guys know, I have private lessons with Connor. Absolutely love Connor. Like he's just so patient and understanding and great and really encouraging, which is definitely what I need because I 100% am not the most confident rider. Um, so in terms of lessons, we basically start with like a little warm up. So I'll do a bit of like walk, trot, canter both ways. And then the actual um, exercise that we're doing today in this video is... I want to say it's called a serpentine, <laughs> I believe that's the correct term, um, so it's a lot of like turns, straight lines, uh, changing the rain, that kind of thing, and we did this in trot, and also attempted to do it in canter, although I didn't manage to do the full thing in canter, we're actually trying to like work a lot on like my canter and stuff at the minute, because it's definitely what I'm the least confident in, um, this was the same exercise that I did the day before as well when I actually filmed this vlog, so it's basically like the same lesson, um, the same week, if that makes sense, but we just did it on a different horse, so as you saw today, I was on Angel, and she honestly was such an angel, like, she was so great, like, so just lovely, like, worked so hard, like, did her absolute best for me, because I definitely was a mess, <laughs> A lot of the time, I really need to work on so many things like my position, my balance, and um, my confidence. Like I'm, as I said, I'm really not the most confident rider. Um, but yeah, definitely getting there, just kind of like working our way up the ladder, <laughs> as Connor says. So yeah, I'm basically just trying to work on my position quite a lot. I feel like I don't always sit up enough. I tend to like fold forward a lot, especially when I'm trying to tra transition from like trot to canter. Um, also just like keeping my heel down you can probably see in a lot of these clips like my stirrup tends to fall to the back of my foot a lot so just trying to work on like keeping my heels down keeping my lower leg a lot more still because I've definitely need to work on that and um, also not gripping with my knees as much because Connor always tells me that I do that and that's tends that tends to be why I kind of like fold forward um but yeah i feel like we're definitely getting there so this was my lesson for the day honestly had so much fun like i really really love coming to these lessons i'm enjoying it so much um i've got two booked a week for the rest of september and then i'm going to continue for the rest of the year so i'm excited to see how i progress with this enjoy that yeah. she's, she's so, so beautiful sweet. 29 got a very jazzy bridle. Oh, Don't you? Enjoy that hand. How filthy I am. I just rolled around in the mud. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm back. I am showered. I'm feeling a lot more fresh. Um, I'm actually very quickly just going to redo my skincare. As I said, I'm going pole dancing now, which excited about, but also quite nervous about because when I used to go pole dancing, A, it was really hard, B, it was really painful, and C, I used to bruise like an absolute pee. But I think we're just gonna do like a really relaxed session today. Also, I do just wanna say, obviously, I've been going horse riding, um, I'm going pole dancing, but it is all like safe to do with regards to coronavirus. Um, and I got a lot of comments on my Mykonos vlog. Um, last weekend, I think it was last Sunday that I posted it. I know a lot of people were upset that obviously me, Mads and Rachel went. Um, we were, people were upset that we traveled and stuff, which I completely understand, I completely respect like everyone feeling like that and being upset about it. Um, but I just want you guys to know like I wouldn't be doing anything that was deemed unsafe to do, if that makes sense. I know it's not necessarily recommended to be going on holiday and recommended to travel, but we chose Mykonos and Greece because it was, and I'm pretty sure it is still a safe place to be going to and traveling to. And I know even me saying this, like people are still gonna be upset about the fact that, they, that we went because you know, it wasn't essential travel or whatever. Same with me, obviously now going horse riding and pole dancing, all of it is safe to do. Um, horse riding, obviously like I'm outdoors anyway, I'm not near anyone, all of the tack is sanitized like every single time. Um, there's hand sanitizer stations everywhere, like it's a very safe like activity to be doing during this time, I guess. Um, and pole sessions did actually reopen recently. Tony messaged me not so long ago. Um, just to say that they've reopened for private sessions, which is what I've been doing anyway, or what I was doing pre-COVID. 
Um, so yeah, everything will be done safe, obviously like socially distanced. Um, all of the poles are sterilized anyway. They were even before coronavirus was a thing. Um, you know, all of the precautions will be taken. And I feel like as, you know, as long as it's safe for me to be going, which they have deemed it safe to do now, they've been allowed to reopen. Um, you know, obviously they are a small business and they kind of need the support in a time like this with doing private sessions and whatever else. Um, so yeah, I just want to kind of reassure you guys, also address the fact that I know people were upset that we went to Greece. You know, me posting that Mykonos vlog wasn't for me to say to everyone, you know, you should travel, you should go, whatever else. Um, obviously, like, if it's safe to do so and you want to do so, it's absolutely up to anyone that goes. Um, it was more so just to, you know, just to share with you guys the trip that we went on and what we got up to and things because I know everyone always really loves our videos together, like me, Mads and Rate. Just wanted to speak to you guys about that a second before I go whilst I'm redoing my skincare now that I've washed my face. Also washed my hair, which my hair definitely needed washing. Every single time I go for a riding lesson, I end up so just like gross and sweaty afterwards. But um i'm kind of worried that i'm not going to get really gross and sweaty <laughs> doing pole dancing and then probably need another shower so hopefully it should be fine i think i'm actually just going to leave my hair wet and just tie it up in a little bun just put a sports bra on because you can only really wear like really minimal clothing when doing pole dancing like you need all of the grip from your skin oh, i can literally already feel like the skin my skin ripping <laughs> basically can i just like appreciate my skin sorry i know i keep saying it and i keep talking about it but like i'm actually so happy like you guys have no idea how much stress i was feeling coming off the pedal because usually i break out so bad but yeah oh my god i'm also very sorry about the state of this room like i actually need to clean i need to cleanse my room and cleanse my soul at some point this week i'm excited to go out for food later i don't know what's up at the minute i just feel very weird this week like is anyone else just having a really weird week like that i just feel like everything has been off like my energy just feels really off like my mood just feels really off i don't know why i feel like just loads of little things keep happening that are just causing me stress and now i'm just like okay <laughs> anyway i'm gonna get going and i'm gonna take my tripod hopefully this will give you guys a good giggle because Best believe I'm not even going to be able to lift my body off the floor. I can just tell all of my strength has left me. Right guys, back at it again with the voiceover. So as I said, I was doing a private session with Tony, which is what I've always done when I go to pole sessions. Um, I usually go for like an hour to an hour and a half. So I chose to wear a mask as well just before I talk about anything else. I did choose to wear a mask because obviously we were in an indoor enclosed space. Um, Tony didn't because it wasn't... Um, essential if that makes sense but i just chose to out of my own choice so in terms of the actual lesson we basically start with a warm-up which is this here we do actually do like a warm-up off the pole as well but i didn't film that just because it's not really as interesting to watch i guess so um, we usually do some crunches i think they would be called like crunches on the pole which is what i did first we did a little bit of tricep work which is what you saw when i was like lowering myself to the ground and then also like a little exercise for the oblique I think um, and then we basically just started with some really basic spins just to kind of see where I was up to because I've not done any um, pole dancing for quite a while now so started off with just some like front hooks and then back hooks which is what I am doing here I can't remember what the name for that move is that I did first there, but always trying to work on that as well because I'm really not the most elegant person so really trying to work on um kind of like my entry into spins, if that makes sense. I can't remember what it's called, that little like kick around. I think it begins with an R. Um, but yeah, so we were basically working on that. And then again, did a few more like front hooks into back hooks. I was actually really proud that I managed to still do all of this because it has been quite a while. And then this spin, um, Tony basically just showed me, like I said, we were kind of just practicing stuff, like just seeing what I was feeling and what I could do. I don't actually know what the name of this spin is and I'm definitely not doing it right here anyway. I kind of do it a little bit better next. Um, 
I'd never actually tried this spin before, but I feel like I actually did a pretty good job of it in the end, like towards here. Um, if anyone knows what this is called, then let me know. Like Tony would have told me and it's probably just absolutely left my brain. Um, but yeah, we tried some things like this as well. Basically just trying to learn like a few different spins. And um, the kind of goal with this is to maybe do like a one minute routine at some point, which I would obviously like love to be able to do and film for you guys. Um, so that's kind of what we're working towards. So we're just kind of like trying to learn different things, trying to see what like I enjoy doing, what I like doing, so we know what to put into a routine. And then, oh my God, these heels. Can we just take a moment for these like 401 inch stripper heels that Tony got out for me to wear? So I put these on just for a little bit of fun. Bearing in mind, absolutely could not walk in them. Probably like very nearly broken ankle about 12 times, but honestly had so much fun in these. Um, so again, we're just trying a few spins. This spin I was so proud of. Like this is quite a long clip where I'm holding myself up. And I was honestly so proud because yeah, like I said, I don't, I've not done anything for a while and just like trying to like condition my skin um, to like not be so sensitive on the pole again is honestly so difficult. So I feel like I actually made this look really cute. But yeah, literally had the best first session, really loved it, had so much fun. I can't wait to like work more on that. So yeah, that was my pole session. Yeah. Hi. I just wanted to show everyone you snazzy desk. What, well, and I'm looking like a total... <laughs> you never look like a toad. <laughs> Mum's got a snazzy desk where you can extend it so that she can stand up more. Oh, mm. you brightened my day. Oh, that was really cute. Oh, well, you did. Might cry. I'm gonna have some hummus, guys, and suddenly. There's no left. Yeah, there is. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Try and lie to me about hummus. Hello, hi. My oh. nose can sniff it out a mile away. I'm gonna get a quick shower. Um, obviously, not wash my hair again. I did get a bit sweaty, but overall I'm fine. So I'm just gonna have another body shower, clean off, and then get ready to go and see Mill. Okay, so this is the makeup that I've done, which is literally just eyebrows and moisturizer. I've not put any other makeup on. I'm gonna put a gloss on actually. Um, and then I just put some little hoops in, which are from H&M. Um, I've just put my hair in like a low bun. Honestly, like, had suddenly five minutes to get ready and couldn't be bothered doing anything so i've just slapped my brows on and that is it um but yeah i'm gonna quickly get dressed um i'm just gonna i think just wear something like really comfy and casual i'm really very excited to see mill and have some drinks and shisha hello just ordered some prawns and hummus <laughs> gonna have some nibbles um it's very quiet today which is nice i feel like when we last came it was so yeah, busy we were like Oh, yeah. Table. So, yeah, I'm gonna stay here and then see where the wind takes us. Mill looks so gorgeous. She turned oh. up. She turned <laughs> up in baby heels, guys. I'm here in like sweats and trainers, and I was like, listen. <laughs> but I'm like seven inches short. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Like a child compared to Hannah. Yeah, I am the BFG, so it's fine. <laughs> we got shrimp. So what is that? It's cheese, like Indian cheese. Oh, it's so okay. It's really, it tastes a bit like halloumi, but okay. Like spiced. It's you'll like it. It's really good. Okay. Then we got some hummus. Oh, someone's just messaged me. Hello there. Oh, Millie's just texted me. Thank you so much for tonight. I really needed it same honestly as i was saying before like i don't know what has been going on this week but like everything has just felt so off like i've just felt so not myself and so not not even down like i, I can't even explain it like it's just been the weirdest week ever and i've just felt so weird and literally had like the best little girls night like a little girly date night um with mel just taken my eyebrows off because that's the only makeup <laughs> that i had on um and i'm not even joking guys i am absolutely shattered like i'm so tired i feel like it's got to half 10 and i can just feel my eyes like shut in like i'm just so sleepy so i think i'm gonna get some sleep um obviously i've got to get up tomorrow for another riding lesson with connor um so i mean hopefully you will have watched that vlog footage anyway <laughs> So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, huge thank you to Ula Henriksen as well for obviously sponsoring the skincare section of this video. I will leave all the information for the products that I use down below. I mean, I keep saying it, but like, can we just look at my skin? 
like honestly like my skin just feels so good at the minute but yeah i love you guys so much as always i feel like i don't say it enough like honestly i love you guys so much um thank you for watching if you're still watching to this point <laughs> and for just being like the kindest most lovely people ever i love you guys and i will see you in the next one whatever that will be i'm not sure yet but we'll see